This is what it looks like when you find out you have to move unexpectedly and take over 100 houseplants with you. I got the biggest bins I could find, took one look at my task, and immediately felt overwhelmed. So my coping mechanism is to take a nap. Kind of like an ostrich that way. The worst things to pack are propagations because these are just sitting in water. But my friend had a genius idea to use coffee cup holders. Just held everything neatly in place and I just stuck them back in the bag. Five minutes later and I only have 94 plants left to go. Winning. I honestly didn't realize how many plants I accumulated over the years. Once I turned the grow lights off, I also realized I never cleaned the shelf before. I then went into my hyper focus mode to fill up these bins. Yes, this is not sped up in any way. This is how fast I actually move. Three bins later, my husband realized how much I bamboozled him over the years. The new house is five minutes away, but took 20 minutes to get there at this speed. I only had time to just plop everything down because there were still so many more plants that left to go. My moss poles didn't fit, so I had to lie them down in the back seat of the car. It took multiple tries to get this tree to fit through the front seat. And my worst nightmare is getting string of hearts tangled. So I had my four-year-old carry it in the back seat. And for trip number 528, I emptied the greenhouse, packed up the greenhouse. 10,000 hours later, I made it. And now it's time to unpack everything along with all my other boxes. So of course, I got to work straight away.